Mississippi State took advantage of five Auburn turnovers to beat the Tigers in Jordan here last year. Tommy Tuberville and the Tigers in Starkville. Three-nothing game, a offensive struggle. Brad Lester lands on his head, didn't get up. Was carted off on a stretcher, taken to a hospital and evaluated. He did return to the stadium later, and certainly that is great news. Glad to hear it for the fine running back for Auburn. Fourth quarter, five minutes left. Auburn up three to two. Tigers had a couple of runners on with all the strikeout. When Ben Tate puts it on the ground and Mississippi State recovers. Now, now Sly Croom, in my estimation, Mark, made a coaching error here by going for it on fourth and 15 with under four minutes to go. Absolutely. He had two timeouts left on the clock. Punt the ball away, put Auburn in backfield position, stop them, use your timeouts, get one more chance to go down the school. Why was it important? Because Auburn was turning the ball over again. Did it three times, but rather than having it on the doorstep, you don't know if they would have run the same play, but the Tigers hadn't been secure with the ball. State had another opportunity, and immediately after that fumble, Wesley Carroll goes up top in a spectacular interception by Walter McFadden. Give a lot of credit to this Auburn defense for hanging in there late in the football game. It looked like the momentum was shifting to Mississippi State, but Auburn held on. 3-2 to the final. State didn't convert a third down, but nobody's doing that against Auburn these days. LSU gets Auburn next. They had North Texas on Saturday night.